online. So someone you think automatically would, um, you know, meet up in person, they just feel more comfortable in an online environment. And there's plenty of people like that now that they're um, they're really interested in an issue only up to the point of that issue existing online. But once once they're required to actually go to a place and and you know um, change their habits or change their life, their their um, you know factor in the hours for commute and and get to a place. You can't expect the same people that were vocal online to be there. Um, so yeah, I think it's. Um, I don't know. I don't really have an answer. Actually, I'd kind of like to hear from other people. I do think that it should be slow and also really targeted. So if you're organizing something like this, you know, don't just send out a giant call, but really use the same kind of. Um, aspects of reaching out and organizing that you would if it was offline. So seek out individual people and see what they where their strengths lie and, and try to get them to work on something that's obviously in their interest and strength. So don't just expect people to show up at an event, but really yeah. Um so someone yeah, if someone's really good at doing community organizing or someone's a digital person, make sure that they're they're going to the event and that they have something that's up, up in their interest that they can participate in. Um, yeah. Well, I can tell you for the past, let's see, 15 years now, there's been an online group for Discord called the Echo Art Dialogue that I helped 